What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be sharing with you a little rabbit hack. So we're going to be using the curtain wall tool in order to create something that's well not a curtain wall, we're going to be creating a wooden louver. Now wooden louvers are kind of coming back in architecture, wood is generally coming back on the facades and everything, people really like to use wood, it's organic, it's really a good a, and a warm material, so that's why I decided to make Make that a topic of today's tutorial. But anyways, before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial because it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm, it kind of pushes this video through. And also, if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make uh, two Revit tutorials each week plus an advanced Revit course. Now, that those Revit courses can be found on my Patreon, they are all over one hour long. I've got 20 courses so far and I'm making new ones each week. Also, if you want this project file, this louver uh, wall that I'm creating, or any of my other Revit project files, uh, also check my, check out my Patreon, first link in the description, uh, and you can find all of those files as well as the courses. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get into the tutorial. So as you can see, I've got the Revit start page opened up and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for this project. Now, uh, curtain walls are part of a wall family and the wall family is a system family. So we, we can edit or create new wall families within a Revit project. You can't really do it within the, within the family template or family uh, project. So uh, f to create this, uh, what I'm going to do is just go here to wall and let's open up a regular architecture wall and then let's scroll down all the way to the storefront curtain wall. Now the reason I'm going with the storefront is because it already has both the uh, grids as well as the mullions uh, laid out. So if I create the storefront over here, that's what it looks like. Let's just f flip it on the other side and let's go into 3D. And this is what we have. So the, uh, again, as I said, the, the reason why I went with storefront, if I were to maybe go with just regular curtain wall, it will be just a, a blank sheet of glass and that's not what we want for this tutorial. Now I'm going to switch this to the uh, realistic just so we can see it a bit better and as you can see we've got the glass in this curtain wall and I don't really want the glass for this one. This is, will be a mullion or, or uh, mullions will be louvers so we don't really need glass between those. So what I suggest you do uh, is just turn it on so you can see that glass and then we're going to cr select this curtain wall storefront family, go into edit type, click duplicate to create a new family just because we don't want to mess around with the generic storefront family so let's call this one uh, wood louvers hit enter and then the first thing that I like to do is go here to curtain panel underneath construction and for curtain panel let's change it from glazed into empty. So this will basically eliminate the uh, the existence of those uh, curtain panels. So as you can see now we've only got mullions. Now for mullions we're going to be creating this as a vertical louver system. So the horizontal mullions will be the construction part and the vertical mullions will be the actual wooden louvers. So then what I suggest you do is again select that family, go into edit type and here for the border uh, 1 and border 2 type for the horizontal mullions, those are the ones up here as well as ones down here. We don't really need them, usually you need construction in between but not on top and on bottom. So let's uh, change those to none. Oops. So none here and none here as well. Hit apply. Okay, it says delete mullions. It's just going to delete the existing ones. Okay, so this is what we have right now. Okay, the next thing that I like to do is I like to change the configuration. I like to have the vertical ones a bit closer together. So go back into edit type and here for spacing, for the vertical grid, let's change the spacing from 1000 or from 1500 to maybe uh, 500. Let's hit enter, hit apply. And as you can see, now we have a lot more vertical mullions. 
Now, how do you actually change these mullins? Well, what you need to do is, uh, what I'm actually first going to do is I'm going to change all of these with some existing mullins that I think are a bit better. And for the uh, horizontal mullins, that the ones that are going to act like, uh, let's say, construction elements, I'm going to change those from uh, the 50 millimeter type to the, or 50 by 150 to 50 by 65. Hit apply, okay. And there we go. Now, if I uh, zoom in, as you can see, these are now going through the uh, the vertical mullions, and those are like the the thinner uh, ones. Okay. The next thing you need to do is you need to alter the vertical mullion family. Now, to do so, we need to find that family, and it's actually a bit difficult. You can't do it through here into Edit Type, and then here you can only select it, but you can't really edit that family. So, to get access to that family in order to edit it, what you need to do is you need to scroll down over here to Families, open up that menu, and now you need to find your curtain wall mullions. Expand that menu as well. Let's find the rectangular mullions. Expand that menu too, and here we have that 50 millimeter by 150 type. That those are the vertical ones. Now I like to keep this one and then just duplicate it and create a new one. And let's call this one wood uh, louver. Hit enter, and then uh, in order to access it, you can just double click this and you get a new type properties menu for that mullion. Now you've got an angle option, so you can rotate it if, if that's something that you're interested in, and then you have some other options. So you have width on side one and width on side two, and then the thickness is 150. So it's basically treating the uh, the smaller side, the 50 millimeter side, as basically two values. So you can either type it in over here as, so you have to type it in here as two numbers, and for the thickness, it's just one number. So this is a bit too thick, so I'm going to drop it down to 15 and 15, making it a total of a 30 millimeter width. And then the uh, thickness, I want to be a bit uh, bigger, so let's go with, I don't know, let's go with 200. Okay, with this done, I want to change one more parameter and that's the material. So the material is currently aluminum as well as the other horizontal construction type, but I want to change it to some wood material, this being a wooden louver. So I'm going to go and find birch wood here and just load it in. If you don't see this menu, I just click on this button over here, it's going to be here. And then it kind of hides and expands this lower menu. Load in the uh, birch material and uh, you might not have the, this material if you're using the version, I don't know, like 2017 or earlier. I'm not sure when did they add the birch material. That's what I'm using because as you can see, I'm using the 2019 version of Revit. But anyway, let's just double click, select that material, hit OK. And now let's see what happens and nothing happened. Well, why is that? Well, because we need to go back to our curtain wall family, go into edit type and actually make that change over here. So just go for the, uh, uh, let's go for the interior type first, change it to wooden louver, and then let's make the same change for the rest of these. So make sure you change all three of these to wooden louver, hit apply, okay. And there we go, we have our wooden louvers. Now you can play around with the distance of these. Uh, also, the distance is really important if you have some sort of an arc. So if you are working perhaps, let's go here into level one. Okay, it's going to look a bit weird, but don't worry about it. And uh, the reason is if you go into 3D, as you can see this top mullion is way higher. So if you want to see that middle mullion, you can actually select it and maybe drag it down at 1000 millimeters or less. And then if you go in your level one, now you can actually see it as you can see over here. Now, one more thing that's a, a bit annoying. I don't want the construction thing, uh, the construction mullion to go through the center of this mullion. I actually want it to be kind of at the end of our louver. So what I'm actually going to do is let's zoom in over here, move it off to the side and let's make one more adjustment to this mullion. So just find your wooden louver. Uh, let's collapse this menu a bit and here for the offset, let's try making an offset. So uh, let's try something like minus 25. I think that's going to be the right value. 
Okay, it's moving it in the wrong direction, so let's try plus 50. Let's try that, hit apply. Okay, it looks almost right. Let's see, maybe it's perfect. Let's move to the other side. And yeah, it's actually, it's almost perfect. Let's just try it one more time. Just move it a bit closer. So let's try 55, hit apply. Okay, maybe 65. So you have to play around a bit. I think 65 works really good. So I'm going to leave it at that. And now as you can see, the kind of the, the construction is going all the way on the back of the actual wooden louvers. So if you're looking from the street, you're going to see wood only and not that uh, construction in the back. Okay, so we have that in a place. And now the, the good thing about this is you can actually make curved walls. So if I go into my uh, level one, select this wall, uh, right click, go with create similar, or you can use the CS shortcut for create similar. And now as you can see, I can go with arc and maybe create an arc like this. Maybe then go like that. And there we go. So this is a curved uh, wall that's actually a kind of a Malian wall and it looks really good. Now that's the one thing that's really good about it that you can play around. The second thing is the fact that you can change the actual profile so it doesn't have to be straight like this. You can select it, go here into edit profile and then uh, you can play around with this thing. So you can add a spline like that and then adjust maybe adjust this here, adjust this here. Okay, this looks correct. Let's hit finish. There we go. So it can look kind of like this. Okay, this part is a bit silly. So I suggest you can edit that a little bit, but you get the point. You can play around with this shape. Now, if you selected the curved one, the curved one, it's not going to show you that edit profile option just because it's a curve, but a quick solution for that uh, can be uh, to create a roof. So what you can do is you can cut it with a roof. That's another Revit hack that I like to use. So you just go here with a reference plane like this. Just go like that. Let's call it a uh, wall cut or maybe a louver cut. Hit enter. Uh, then I'm just going to go into 3D, uh, highlight that uh, uh, that reference plane, and first let's go to set and let's select that louver cut, hit OK. Okay, so we've got this reference plane and now let's create a roof on top of that. So let's go, just go with a roof, a roof by extrusion, a level two, OK. And now we can create some elaborate shapes. So I can create a roof that looks, I don't know, kind of weird like that. Okay, hit finish. So there we go, we have this weird looking roof. And then what you can do, you can just select these two and let's turn off the visibility of that reference plane. Okay, so now what you can do is you can just select these two walls. Hold the control key, let's see. And you can attach top base and it will attach to that roof. Same thing with this one. Attach top base, attach to that roof. And then you can just select the roof and turn off its uh, visibility. And there you go. Then you will have a weird looking uh, Malian wall like this that's actually curved on two sides. So it actually looks really cool and it's quick to build. I mean, this was a 10 minute tutorial and I show you how to do these two parts. So it's not going to take you much time to create uh, something like this for your project. And of course, you can reuse this wall in any other project. You just need to select it, go Control C to copy, and then uh, go here to File, New Project. Let's go with the architectural template. Because here, if you were to go to just a wall, and as you can see, you don't have that wall, but if you just paste this wall here, let's hit Finish. Okay, you can just paste it and delete it. The important thing is now if you go to wall, the wooden louver wall will be here added in your uh, wall library. Okay, so that covers this uh, tutorial on using louvers to create uh, these cool, uh, or using mullions to create these 
cool uh, wooden louvers. I hope this was useful and I hope you can incorporate this in your future uh, projects. I've got a whole complete one hour course especially on uh, curtain walls and how to edit them and how to hack them and how to use them for multiple applications. So if you're interested in that it's up on my Patreon. First link in the description. Also there you can find this project file with this wall as well as all of my other Revit project files and all of my Revit courses. So if you're interested in something like that, check it out. First link in the description. Okay, so that covers this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.